Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Adventures. Today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install your Saris Bones bike rack on your car very quickly. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. First off, to avoid scratching the paint on your vehicle, wipe off the top of the trunk in the middle and the top of the bumper. Now, on the middle arm, spin the dial to the left and move it to the open area where there is no groove and rotate it a little bit up. Now, let's take this over to our vehicle and adjust and install it. Now, place the bike rack on top of the car just like this and make sure the bases aren't rolled in and they're flat on the bumper and align it directly in the center of your car. Now, position the middle arm and then slide it over onto the groove and lock it in. And then spin the dial to the right to tighten it up. Now locate the clips that say upper on them. So this one says upper. Let's place the upper clips on, on both sides. Now tighten the upper clips a little bit. Now locate these side clips right here and attach it to the side of your vehicle and tighten that up. And do the same thing on the other side. Now locate the bottom clip that says lower and attach it under your trunk. Now on some vehicles you may need to go ahead and get the trunk attachment so you can clip it on. For me I have to open up my trunk and then close it otherwise I won't be able to go ahead and attach the lower straps. So that's attached. Now I'm going to tighten this one up. If you're gonna go ahead and lift up and close your trunk, make sure the bottom base here isn't underneath your trunk, otherwise it's gonna hit that. So just pull away on the arm here and then close it. Now let's go around to all the straps and tighten these up. And then you can tie off the straps. So now I'm gonna loop this around here. And then come through the middle. And do that for everyone. Now loosen up these two dials right here and then slide them off to the side. And you want these to be slightly above horizontal, so this should be good right here. Then lock them into place and then tighten them up. Then make sure all the dials are tight on the rack itself. Now take your bike and put it on the rack. Lift it up. Now strap it in. And you want to go ahead and make sure the anti sway is on the vertical bar. Now I think you're going to see less swaying with your bike when you're driving if you have it on the first set of clamps. However, I don't like doing that with my bike because the pedals can scratch the paint right off your car on your bumper and on your trunk. So I typically go ahead and just leave it on the back one. Then you can get additional accessories that will tie off your tire so your tire and your handlebars don't turn when you're driving or prevent your wheel from spinning. So it'll only take about three or four minutes for you guys to get this set up once you get used to the process. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up tips coming up next on Your Six Adventures.